what's up guys today we're doing a lesson about the lychee slicer 5 and the new anti-aliasing settings and as you can see we're already on the export tab which is where you'll find the anti-aliasing settings on lychee and they recently changed the way this works uh, you used to have a gauge of quality and then there was a gray offset to it and now we have a couple different options and they have changed so stay tuned we'll go over them with you now this guy here is a cripple god foundry model this is one of the warriors code and this is the uh, magduk one eye character it's a very nice sculpt overall let's take a minute just to talk about anti-aliasing center settings in general AA or anti-aliasing as some people refer to it is not always as functional as it seems depending on the printing manufacturer it doesn't always do what it's supposed to some printers don't work well with lychee when it comes to AA settings and yeah vice versa so you kind of have to play with it to see what works best The first type of setting in lychee is smooth surfaces. This has a radius of pretty much 1 or 0 pixels all the way up to 20. And of course you can adjust the gray offset from anywhere from 0% up to 100%. Now the thing with this is this will definitely get you a smoother surface, but it's also going to blur the details more than the traditional anti-aliasing that I use or none at all. And honestly, if you're concerned about anti-aliasing, just go with none at all. Most LCD screens should be pretty sharp. You shouldn't need to use it. Especially folks using a D2 or an Ultra. Those machines should have pretty tight resolution and look nice looking prints right out of the box. Again, the smooth surface option is something you'd want to use for rounded objects that have smooth areas, curves, things like that. For something detailed like this, I wouldn't recommend this AA setting no matter what printer you're using. Now again, the radius itself, 2 pixels, 1 pixel, 20 pixels, that's the radius of the curve that it's going to give you to uh, smooth out that surface. The gray offset is the amount of gray that is used to offset during the curing. Um, and that will have a large impact on how the actual print comes out. If you have a lot of details, it might muddle those or, you know, just fail to make them appear. The next type of AA is sharpen details and you have either two, four, eight. You have three quality levels and then you have your gray offset again. And I don't really like using too much gray offset, but the way I try to do it is based on uh, whether or not you have a certain amount of quality. So if you're going with AA2, I'll use a gray offset of about 20 to 30%. If I'm going with AA4, I'll use about 10 to 20%. If I'm going with AA8, I won't use any. I don't usually use uh, crank it up to eight as far as the, the AA setting, so that's not usually what I do. But it's usually I'll, I'll usually go with AA setting four, and then I'll use a twenty percent gray offset. The other type of AA setting is called contrast blur. This is similar to smooth the details, but the contrast blur is a little bit different as the way it works. It uh, also works in pixels, so you can go anywhere between two, or uh, you know, one zero. 0 pixels to 1 pixel, 20 pixels, uh, and, and then you have your also your 0 to 100% gray offset. Again, you can apply this to anti-aliasing, uh, the anti-aliasing to the supports, 
Uh, but I don't recommend it. You don't. They don't need it, and you don't need to waste the time thinking about it. Now again, we always go back to sharpened details when it comes to figurines like this. And if I'm using a particular style, like I said, I would usually do uh, two and maybe about 10 or 20%. And then I'll, I'll usually do about a four, you know, with a, a, a little bit lower or lesser percentage. And then as I get higher up, I'll take that percentage down. Um, I try to decrease it because the higher I seem to get with the level of anti-aliasing, the less gray offset I actually need to actually get an improved print. But I get the best quality of results with a 4 and a 20%, uh, 10 to 20% on the um, gray offset. Again, you can play with these settings all day long, and honestly, Lychee has changed them because they were previously uh, worded a little bit differently. So this is a more recent change with five with the new 5.0 update. Um, so I don't know if they'll change again in the future, but if they do, we'll update you guys and let y'all know what we think of the new settings and how they're gonna work. For now though, this is pretty much what we're doing. So for a model that's like this with tight and a lot of details, you're gonna wanna sharpen details you're gonna to wanna to use a setting that's somewhere in the middle. I definitely don't recommend always cranking it up to the max because that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to look the best. Sometimes that's gonna blur the details too, so you need to maintain somewhere in between. We usually use four, like I said, and about a gray set, gray offset of 10 to 20%. In this case, 20%, I think we, oh, I think we use 10% on this model. He came out great. I actually have a couple copies of him. Looks fantastic. So definitely was a, a, a working uh, uh, aliasing setting for this particular size. And that's good because you definitely want to see the quality in these types of models. Anyway, guys, that's really all the time we had for this particular episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit, uh, you know, kind of boring just staring at me talking about aliasing settings. But honestly, this is something I had a question about and I wanted to make an episode to kind of address that question. So hopefully we um, cleared some of that and you guys learned something today. And if you did, please hit that sub, like, and don't forget to ring the bell if you want notifications about more of the episodes that we release, which is usually about one or two each week. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you have a wonderful holiday and Happy New Year.